Hello. In this video, we're going to go over the ncdu command in Linux. The ncdu command does not come installed by default. You would need to install it. Uh, what that does is, if you're not if you're familiar with du, that's disk usage, kind of can show you the the, the sizes of directories and files. Well, ncdu is kind of like a wrapper around that that does um, things a little bit differently. Well, it's not really, it's not a wrapper around du. I'm not mistaken by saying that. It's just, it's a different way to use like a du type command. Uh, ncdu du will give you kind of an interactive command um, experience, whereas du just prints things to the console. Uh, ncdu can be a little bit more efficient in times. Uh, it kind of depends on what you're working with. But let's jump right in and see what we got. I've got just kind of some basic files here, but let's uh, let's let's install it. So you can do sudo dnf, or if you're on you know Ubuntu apt, use apt instead. Install. I already have it installed, so it shouldn't do anything. But if you don't, just install it. So now we can just run it. So I'm in my current directory here. I can just run it here with nothing else. And it pops up and gives me on the left hand side, gives me the total size of these directories and the, all the contents inside of it. And it sorts it by the largest directories first. And you can even like arrow through. And um, so first off, you get you get the size of the directories that you need, but you can go into it, you can hit enter. And I'm just using the arrows here. You know, I'm hitting the arrows here again. And then if I wanted to like delete a file, I can arrow to it and just hit D and then it'll ask me, are you sure you want to delete that file? I'm just like, yes. And it deletes it, which is cool. So if I want to exit out of it, I can hit Q to quit. Uh, but let's jump, let's jump. Let's just say I wanted to do, um, I only wanted to get the size of the test data directory so I can just pass that path to it. And then it gives me that as well. And I can arrow, I can enter, hit enter there. Um, and I can hit the arrow left to go back. I'm just hitting the arrow left to go back. So I'm enter and then left. I probably should have enabled the, um, keys so you could see my keys, but hopefully you get the gist. It's, it's pretty simple. But the also thing you can do is here. It says press question mark for help. You can do question mark and it kind of shows you some, you know, other things that you can do with it if you wanted to, uh, but it's nice. It's got some, di uh, different things over du you got kind of got the interactivity of it um, we'll hit q q again we're going to quit you can also use like exclude option to exclude files from it or directories you know something here if you wanted to or even like star um to do a, po a partial match so you can do that you can also do the dash o which will um where am I? Oh, I need to do, uh, oh, I need to put, I can do o, o to output it to a file. So let me, let me specify that there. And then now I kind of outputted contents to a file. And then, and then you've got different, different things. You get the, you get the raw, raw data of all the files of the sizes. So if you need to do something like programmatically with that, you could, um, you could do that, but that's just of it. There's not much to it. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.